Hey y'all, just a quick message here before we start the video. Don't forget to um, leave a comment um, with your thoughts about the video. That really helps me out with YouTube's algorithms since I'm a new channel and will help me get seen by others. Thanks guys. Hey y'all, welcome back to Tobacco Leaf Legacies. This is Cheryl and I just got back into my grandparents' house. Last time I was here was Christmas. Um, it's now April, so it's just been a little bit. And I just got here and I thought I would share kind of a little bit of, of what's on my plate uh, when I get here. I think, you know, a lot of people probably, if they haven't been through it, uh, really don't understand like oh what's the what's there to do you know you just pack up your stuff and you know you just you just leave and I guess in some situations uh, that is what you do um, my situation there is still a bit more some of it is just our situation you know um, some of it's me <laughs> because I'm trying to do you know some extra stuff that maybe other people don't do and um, you know that's fine um, I will say I'm sitting uh, in the kitchen right now, and um, this, is, this is why it's hard uh, when I'm here, because sitting here now, you know, in the kitchen and looking around, and I'm just, I'm flooded with memories. And I mean, sitting here, I remember, you know, sitting at this table hundreds and hundreds of times um, growing up and having meals and you know my grandmother sitting right over there and dad would sit you know right over here and and the food that we would have um, you know of course when my grandmother was uh, still alive we would have all the stuff that she liked and um, you know I'm looking at the sink uh, right in front of me here and the window and whoo how many hours <laughs> we have logged in time um, at the sink and looking out the window and, and all that and mom standing over there doing dishes. My grandmother um, just kind of in the other room over there, she had a hospital bed in the den area for a long time. The den was you know kind of her bedroom because she was the only one here. And um, I just, I, I feel them, you know? I was sitting here now, you know, all these years later, I mean, I, I still see them and, and feel them and it's like if I close my eyes they're still here and and it's like that everywhere I go whether it's the dining room whether it's the living room whether it's you know outside walking around some of the outbuildings every time I go somewhere I mean I'm just I'm flooded with these memories and that energy and Again, because I'm, you know, so connected, you know, to the family and all that, it, it's very strong. And, you know, that's why I always talk about it being so hard to leave. You know, how do you leave a place where literally every inch, you know, just, just floods you with, you know, with all of the stuff. It's, it's just, it's, it's hard. It's, it's. It's very hard, but I've said that before, but just thought I would kind of throw that out there because sometimes I do when I'm here, just take a few minutes and and do that. Just kind of soak up that energy, close my eyes and, you know, think about where they were and picture them and, and just really kind of lock it in the brain, you know. I also thought I would give you um, a little taste of what I have to do when I'm here. As you can see all oh, this stuff here yeah <laughs> well since I just got here um, I have to have a game plan um, you know I don't I don't spend six months here at a time I usually have three to four weeks and with everything that I've got going on that is a very very short time period to try to work with so I, I really have to um, get in all I can and I'm a very organized person to start with anybody that knows me <laughs> knows how organized I am so it's you know you got to sit down you got to take time to prioritize figure out what you need to do figure out what you need to do first um, I've got 
stuff here uh, that I need to sell. I've got tools I need to sell. I've got some other random you know, pieces of things to sell. Okay, anything that you've got to sell, you need to start on that because a lot of times you're not going to list, list something. You know, face, Facebook Marketplace is, is the hot ticket right now. So yeah, sometimes um, that's my phone. Let's hold that thought. Okay, back from my little phone call. Um, so anyway, and so when I get here, because I you know, have got limited time, I really have to sit down and kind of go over everything that I need to do and make a rough game plan, you know? Like I said, selling stuff. Okay, well, I need to concentrate on that first because anybody who has sold anything, whether it be eBay, whether it's Marketplace, whether it's you know Craigslist, whatever it is, that stuff takes time. I mean, sometimes you can list something and it's, you know, gone like that. And other times it takes a little bit longer. And so that's always a process. And there's so much. I mean, I probably have 50 tools, you know, out there to try to sell. Yeah, you don't do that in, in a couple days. It takes time. By the time you got to take all the pictures, you got to load everything up, post it all, on and on and on. Then you got to meet people. Oh, that's the best part. <laughs> But I'm not going to do a video about meeting people on Facebook Marketplace because, hmm, for the most part, it's been fine, but, you know. So, anyway, and I thought I would just kind of share, um, like, part of the list. I mean, y'all that have gone through this, I mean, tell me if you've had, you know, kind of crazy lists like this. Or maybe in your situation, you've had other things, other phone calls that, that you've had to make. Um <clears throat> You know, like one thing we have to do, I have to do, because we're, you know, going to be selling the land and whatever, well, I've never sold anything like this before. So, you know, I need to call a money management person to try to ask, like, what about taxes? I mean, obviously you gotta pay taxes, right? So how does that work? Is there, you know, there's, there's ways of putting your money in places so that you don't have to pay as many taxes on it? Is that a thing? I don't know, that's a phone call. Um, what else? We've got timber. We've got trees. Now, because this was a farm, we were getting tax breaks because of farming. Okay. Well, when it ceased to be farming, it was like, oh, what are we going to do now? Because, you know, you start paying a lot of money, right? So we ended up getting, hop off, baby, hop off. We ended up getting, um, having trees put on the land. If you put trees on the land, you can lower, you know, the taxes again because, you know, now you've got all these trees. Well, you can also sell trees. Um, so that's another phone call, you know, having to call to find out taxes. Okay, if we sell the trees that's on the property giving us a tax break, how is that going to work? And then maybe finding places to buy said trees. You know, that's not just one phone call. That's many phone calls to gather, you know, all of this information. Um, let's see. There's random things um, that, of course, you know, you have to do around here and fix and whatever just to kind of get us through um, to the end of the year. Where is my other? I have got lists of home lists, home lists, y'all. Are, are you a list maker? Tell me, let me know in the comments because I'll tell you, I love lists. I'd be absolutely lost without them. Can't, can't rely on my little uh, brain these days. Okay, I'm also looking for companies. You know, I've mentioned that I want to take architectural elements out of the house. Um, that's finding a company that can do that. Sure, there's lots of companies that can construct for you, but when you need to find uh, a company that can deconstruct and not only deconstruct, but deconstruct an older home, okay? Because some of the older homes, things were done a little differently, um, you know, than now, okay? So that's a lot of phone calls, you know, trying to find somebody that is, is going to be able to help and going to be able to take out all the things that I need done, okay? Um, let's see, there's scrap metal, okay? If you've had any any bit of land, outbuildings, things like that, you're always going to have scrap metal, okay? Are you going to get rich on the scrap metal? No, you're not. But is it good to, as I have mentioned in another video, it's always good to recycle and do what you can because places will take the metal and do other things with it. Um, 
when you do recycle it, you do get some cash. So, I mean, like I said, you're not going to get rich off of it, but who knows? <laughs> These days, maybe it'll at least fill up the gas tank. God, not the price is crazy. Okay. Anyway. So, there's that. We have got the pack house out here that you guys have seen. Okay. The wood is really, really nice wood. Okay. It is, I mean, my grandfather built that, you know, in late 30s, 40s. And y'all, that wood is still solid. Remember I showed you the attic in the house? Okay, it's even better out in the pack house. And I know that there are companies that will take that and then make other stuff. Okay, well, those are phone calls, you know, trying uh, to find a place that actually does that or that does that in this area, <laughs> you know, that can come to it. Okay, so there's that. Um, Let's see, more stuff to sell. Got some trailers to sell. I'm having somebody um, come out, I think I mentioned in another video, and do some more drone work. Um, I really liked the images and the video that I got from that. And so I've got to um, schedule that. I'm still meeting with people, um, with some family to get memories. Um, you know, I'm still working on the ancestry stuff in the middle of all of this. Um, I'm actually taking some photos and this is, um, I I'm sure you've seen this on, on some other things where people will have an old video, a video, old photo, and then they'll go take the photo to, you know, the place now and kind of hold up the photo and, you know, take like another one. And, um, I thought that would be kind of fun to do. So I've got some old, um, photos here with me where I'm going to walk around the property and do that. Um, hopefully there's some some other family members that I'm going to meet with uh, when I'm here. Um, some I've never met, so I'm very excited uh, about that. Um, I want to <laughs> I want to walk around and <sighs> try to find. We don't have a lot that flowers out here, um, but I do want to try to keep. Um, some flowers, some leaves, you know, do some pressings uh, like that because, you know, I won't be getting any more. Um, I saw on another site somebody had suggested doing rubbings, okay? Like, you know, either leaves or the bark on the trees or, I don't know, maybe one of the buildings. I'm, I'm not quite sure on that yet, um, but anything like that um, that I can do, again, in you know, the name of preservation, uh, I think is kind of cool. So y'all, that's just some of the list. I mean, okay, most of the list, but there's even still a, a hand few, handful of other things uh, going on here. I'm still trying to find somebody to do time lapse. Have you ever done time lapse? Oh my gosh. I have asked so many people about that and tried to find a, a place that can do time lapse and nothing. I have not found that yet, so I'm still working on that. So anyway, um, I just thought that I would take a few minutes and like I said, kind of share with you. It's it's sometimes, for some of us, you know, it's not just coming in, packing up your stuff and leaving. Sometimes there's a multitude um, of projects, little side projects, you know, little things to do, calls to make, companies to contact, it's not, it's not just walking away, not just packing up and walking away. There's, there's so much to do, although I still, still have some packing to do too. Yeah. So anyway, I will be doing, um, I'm sure a couple other videos, uh, while I'm here, just wanted to share this with you because coming up with these lists and making all these phone calls, is just nuts. It's nuts. And I will admit it, it stresses me out a little bit. Um, I guess mostly because I know why I'm doing it. You know, if, if you've been there, I know you know that feeling. It's like, you, you know why you're doing it and you just kind of have this constant little feeling in the pit of your stomach, you know, and it's just not, not fun. But anyway, so I'm gonna close this one out and um, I will film some more stuff later. So I always like to remind you, time is so very, Precious, carpe diem, seize the day. See you next time.